What's good Deluxe family, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Noah, back with another video for you today. Now if you are new, make sure you do become part of the Deluxe Room, because we stay lit on this channel, man. Look, in this video right here, I'm about to be reacting to, here's what newborn animals look like, alright? So now I've seen that in the thumbnail, they, they uh, it showed up, it said it was a panda, and it looked like it was the size of my thumb. They might have got me with some clickbait. That means I might have gotten you with some clickbait. But hey, <laughs> let's see how newborn animals look like, man. Hi everyone. No doubt some animals are simply adorable. So cute and fluffy, you just really want to pet them. Well, I have bunnies in my backyard, bro. Distance, I've been recording them. Baby animals are even cuter. When you look at them, you might but, even experience cuteness over Nah, that's and some about that's, that's real life cute all though. Of nature. But first things first. Today, you're going to see can some I feed cute them my baby animals. Let's get it on. Yeah, I might need to cop a monkey when I'm older. Oh, Giant yeah. panda. That's a panda. Pandas are unique animals. They belong to the bear family, but are considered herbivorous because in most cases they prefer bamboo. Oh, that panda is that food. small, wild, bro. Pandas live only in China. These animals are regarded as one of the symbols of the country. Half of all panda births result in twins. <laughs> nah, pandas are mad cute, bro. What? However, it's very rare for both oh, cubs to survive, oh, oh. as giant pandas almost always abandon a cub because they can't produce enough milk for both of them. Baby pandas are very oh, tiny, so small. toothless, and weigh from 90 to 130 grams. For comparison, an Bro, adult what the giant hell? panda weighs from 70 to 125 How do they get kilograms. so big? Of course, many cubs are born very small and weak, but baby pandas are especially vulnerable. I'm about to cut myself a panda. The reason for that is hibernation. Panda Pandas, like other bears, have learned to control their pregnancy so that it doesn't overlap with the hibernation period. However, all bear cubs are born strong enough, unlike baby pandas. It is still unknown like a grizzly bear behind or something this like drastic that. difference in sizes. Of course, there are different theories, but pandas are not very willing to well, baby in captivity, <laughs> and so it's quite difficult well, baby to baby pandas be looking like they have cubs. googly eyes. Turtle. Oh, yeah. There are several species of sea turtles, but they all have common features. First, they live in water, and second, they bro, have. Oh, there's some turtles that are like the size surface. of like a freaking quarter, bro. Sea turtles use beaches and the lower dunes to nest and lay their eggs, typically Why they did that look nights and away from the tide line. Most females deposit eggs only once every three to four years. Yes, turtles are very thoughtful about the breeding process. A One clutch turtle. may contain about a hundred eggs, and the incubation period <laughs> can last up to two <laughs> Imagine minutes. Imagine seeing a little over. hole Small filled with turtles. turtles hatch from the eggs and immediately rush to the water. Alas, not all of them survive. Some of the babies die along the way, hunted by birds. Birds, <laughs> oh shit, that's tough. Can't feel safe. That's so Scientists tough. Scientists estimate that out of a thousand babies, only half a dozen reach adulthood and can produce offspring. The reason for that is predatory fish and human activity. That's for example, sad. turtles often get entangled in the nets of crab catchers and Bro, oh, that's sad. Giraffe. Out of a thousand, only a half a dozen, which the means six. pregnancy lasts from 400 to 460 days, after which one cub is usually born, although in rare cases there may be twins. During childbirth, the female giraffe is actually standing, but a baby giraffe can't stand <laughs> on its own yet. <laughs> no fucked. wonder, few baby animals are born ready to behave like an adult. However, like many undulates, giraffes no, grow up you, very bro. quickly. A few hours after birth, the baby can not only stand, but also run. However, a, during the I'm first one my... to three weeks, he spends most of his time in hiding. During I'm this time, the pattern on the skin gradually changes, and the giraffe learns to blend in with the surrounding environment. He still stays close to his mother, as well as with other females and cubs. Adult males play almost no but role in like raising the giraffes, bro. although they are friendly to Running him. like a goofball. Koala. Just as pandas are one of the symbols of China, koalas are one of the symbols of Australia. Australia These strange right. herbivores, which look like a mix of a bear, a wombat, and some unknown plush toy. <laughs> yeah, if you really look at one, they look at an old koala, that should be looking chopped. few people know how koalas are <laughs> born. Like the gestation crack. period of this animal lasts from 33 to 35 days. After that, Bro. one cub is born. Or rather, a not yet fully developed cub. Like all marsupials, koalas are born underdeveloped and weigh only half a gram. However, their lips... The 
have. Four legs and shoulders are relatively well developed, and certain I don't know what, what half a gram is, and but I know it's not every one gram. Pouch where it continues to grow. Baby kangaroos are born in a similar fashion. When a baby koala is 26 weeks old, it's already sticking its head out of the pouch, and six to seven months after birth, the little koala first gets out of the pouch. At this moment, the cub weighs from 300 to 500 <laughs> Bro, that's grams. Bad, when the baby is nine months old, it's already riding on. <laughs> But that's lit. Climbing branches, eating eucalyptus, and looking incredibly cute. Sloth. Oh, these things be Probably ugly, the bro. Animals in today's video are sloths. It's like ugly, no, but seriously, but you've seen them? They look like evolution. Beauty at the right. same time. So strange creatures that spend most of their lives hanging from trees upside down, and they're completely fine with it. Depending on the species, <laughs> sloth pregnancy Bruh. lasts from six to twelve months, and by the end of it, a single baby sloth is born that stays with the mother for the next five months. Sometimes baby sloths die from falling from a tree because their mothers don't come down to. Retrieve them. We can't Man, really so we just got baby slows dying out here and shit. The trunk. Those Killing sloths themselves. Those sloths to hang on, learn everything from their mother. For example, the baby sloths lick the mother's lips to find out which food is edible. Again, depending on the species, it could be fruit, no, insects, cute. small lizards, and even carry on, or just leaves. Ant eater. <laughs> Anteaters are no doubt Damn. at the top of the weird animals list. Seriously, they're basically tree climbing vacuum cleaners. Okay, actually, not yeah, all they, they are kind of weird. They just eat ants. Giant anteaters, whose size ranges from 182 to 217 centimeters, prefer to stay on the ground. Bro, imagine seeing they that, bro. Are really large what animals the hell? that not every tree could hold. The pregnancy of a female giant That's ant different. eater lasts about 190 days, after which one pup is born. Like many other baby animals, ant eaters are born blind and open their eyes only a week later. During oh. the first month of their lives, the pups feed on milk but gradually switch to solid food. Well, not quite solid. They start eating insects. Through all this time, they ride on their mother's backs, and their own color merges with that of the females Bruh, in a cunning way, funny. like a built-in disguise. At nine or ten months old, the young anteaters become completely independent, and at two and a half years old, they're ready to reproduce themselves. What the hell? Two years old, you better, better give birth? At the beginning of the video, we said we'd be talking about cute animals, but perhaps seahorses are not one of them. I know, sure, I know seahorses just be... Unusual, but you can't exactly... Like seahorses just be, uh... They just be squirting out babies. <laughs> they just squirt them shits out. Bro, it'd be ODC horse. Watch. And scratch them beyond the ears. To be honest, we doubt they have ears at all. However, baby seahorses definitely deserve your attention, mostly because they're carried by the males. There's a special pouch on the belly or front facing side of the future daddy seahorses. When mating, the female seahorse deposits up to 1,500 eggs into it, which the male carefully carries. This can last from 9 to 45 days until fully developed. Look at it, squirting them bitches out. Yeah. Fully developed, <laughs> Quite tiny. The birth That's process okay, of these small seahorses is nothing like the usual like seahorse. The males shoot their offspring Damn, off. Damn, he busting up and fat nut. Their parental juices Bow. end. Bow. Bow. The baby seahorses are then on their own. They have to deal with predators, ocean currents. No wonder that less than half of a percent of seahorses survive until adulthood. Oh my gosh. I'm quarantined. Come on, we have schoolwork to finish. I don't know how teachers do it with a classroom. Come on, man. Alpaca. Friendly, slightly timid, and very soft alpacas are often mistaken <laughs> for llamas. Bro, I just so want to pat its head, bro. Like it animal to... spit at or bite you, it's not an alpaca. You better step away. The fact that alpacas are sometimes rented for wedding photo shoots proves how cute they truly are. And what could be more charming than the most charming creature? Of course, it's cub. The alpaca pregnancy lasts on average 11 and a half months, resulting in the birth <laughs> of one clear. That but is an alpaca the alpaca is smiling. Llamas alpacas and similar animals. In about half an hour, the baby alpacas can stand on their own, and two weeks after giving birth, the mother alpaca is receptive to breeding again. They know to stand in a half an hour of being on this earth, bro, what the hell? And become independent. However, like people, each alpaca is quite unique. Smart-ass alpaca. Salamander. 
If you love reading fantasy books, that is not a salamander, bro. Salamander, you probably think of a mythical lizard that can live in fire. No, I think reality, of a little small course, thingy. Things are a bit different. Salamanders are amphibians that look like lizards. Most of them have a rather boring appearance. I thought they were it's small, bro. I never, I never knew they were that big, bro. What the? If it runs what the hell? By in the grass. Unlike many other animals on our planet, salamanders can produce offspring both by laying eggs and live birth. Everything more or less depends on their species. And let's say. Thank you to modern technologies. You can monitor the entire process of a small salamander being formed. You know, all this cell division which you probably learned in school, but have already happily forgotten. Well, I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to be in biology class right now. I had that I had that last semester. I'm not I'm not I'm not fucking with it, bro. I'm not trying to hear this shit. Psst, dude, are you looking for right, man, yo. If you made it to this part of the video, make sure you do like and subscribe, become part of the deluxe room because we stay lit on this channel, man. We really just watch newborn babies together, my guy. <laughs> Come on now. But look, make sure you do like and subscribe. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Send me on, catch me in the next one. Peace.